Worst Client has updated to Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.2. So to get it, you want to head over to WorstClient.net, which is Worst Client's official website. That'll be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, where you can find a bunch of other clients just like this one. You want to locate the most recent version, which for me, there's only this one right over here. And then you want to scroll down until you find the downloads area. Here you want to locate 1.21.2 and then you want to click on this black button over here and that will automatically start downloading Worst Client. Now to use this you also need the Fabric API so make sure you also download it by clicking on this button right next to the other one. Now seeing as you need the Fabric API it may not come as a surprise that you also need to have Fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.2. If you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways we can now simply open up our downloads where I have the Fabric API as well as Worst Client. Which is great and I can now press on the Windows and R keys at the same time and in the box that pops up you want to type in App Data. Just like that. Then in this folder that opens up right over here, you want to go into the folder called roaming, then .minecraft, and then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Once you're in there, you can simply drag the fabric API as well as worst client right into that folder just like so. Once you've done that, you can simply close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch fabric 1.21.2. Now I've loaded up Minecraft 1.21.2 with Fabric, and I'll just head into a single player world real quick and show you exactly how to use this. Now I am just going to be showing you how to get started. If you want the full in-depth tutorial that covers everything, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, to get started, you can simply press on the right hand shift button and that'll open up Worst Client's Click GUI. As you can see, it's pretty large and here you can find basically all of the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to automatically turn them off. If you click on this little green arrow, it'll open up an entire customization menu tuned exactly to the specific utility. So you can customize it however you want and you can also turn it on or off down there. Anyways, for the rest, you will get a brief description if you hover over all of the utilities and you can look for ones if you're looking for something specific. Anyways, for the rest, if you scroll down a little in here, you'll notice that the alphabetic sorting ends and it restarts but then with dots. That's because all of the ones that start with dots are actually commands. Um, and the commands for worst client don't start with the slash, they start with a dot. You can type dot help in the chat and that'll give you a list of all of the commands or well it won't give you a list, it'll give you the first page of the list. If you type in dot help too, then it'll give you the second page. If you're not sure how to use a command, you can just type it in chat over here. It'll tell you the exact syntax. For the rest, that syntax can also be found in their customization areas right over here. Scrolling down even further will give you some more of the general utilities, including the GUIs, which includes the tab GUI as well. Changing its status to enabled will bring up that area right over there. It's essentially the same as this, except it allows you to navigate it whilst you're playing with the arrow keys on your keyboard, which is pretty cool. One of the most useful things that can be found in these customization settings is the option to set a keybind for almost every utility. You can actually also do that with commands. A list of all your keybinds can be found in this area right here. For the rest, pressing on right control will bring up another type of GUI. As you can see, this one is lengthwise and sorts everything by type. Some people prefer this one to the other one I showed. Either way, they have the exact same utilities, so that's just up to you to choose. Finally, in the escape menu, you'll notice that there's a worst options button. Here we'll find the keybinds x-ray blocks as well as zoom managers, some of worst clients official links as well as some more general settings. Anyways for right now basically that was that. Remember to subscribe if you want to see content like this more often and of course the full in-depth tutorial on how to use worst client is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways for right now thank you ever so much for watching and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.